Hello, APCSA students. Mr. Zerley here. I'm going to walk you through a few questions from the 2004 APCSA test. These are uh, the free response questions were released that year. Number one is a uh, called word list. It's got a, an instance field here called my list. That's type array list. A um, little different. Back then, they didn't always type the array list. So you'll notice that no types given here. And we're going to see strings being put into and out of this array list. So the kids that took this test had to actually cast everything to the string level. Uh, we wouldn't have to do that on today's exam. So if you look at the replit code I shared with you, I went ahead and typed it to type string. So just something that we don't really have to worry about. All right. So part A, simple counter method. Ask us to count how many of the strings in this array list have a certain length. And then in part B, we're writing a remove method. We're going to remove all the strings that have this given length, this parameter called len. Okay, so if we look here at number one, part A, uh, like I said, just basic counter method. So first thing we'd probably do is just set up some sort of counter variable. Um, okay, and then finally, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to return that counter variable. In the middle, we're going to loop through every string once and we're gonna see if it has the length equal to len, and then if it does, we'll count it. So easiest way to probably handle this would be to write an enhanced for loop. Say, just hand me all of the strings from my list. And then uh, once I have a string, I can ask for its length. And if the length of that string turns out to equal len, then I want to go ahead and count it. If it's the right length, it gets counted. If not, it doesn't. And when we're done with that loop, we'll return how many got counted. Okay, moving on to part B. So I'm not going to use an enhanced loop in this problem. Uh, the reason is if you try to remove from an enhanced loop, you'll get a strange runtime error. Okay, so we're going to use an indexed for loop. Uh, if you were to write your traditional loop that started at index zero and moved left to right across my list, Okay, but not quite to the size. Going to run into a little bit of a problem potentially with that remove. Uh, we've talked about this before. We need to put some sort of corrective factor in. Okay, and we'll see what that is in just a minute. Um, so as we move across this, we're going to take a string out of there. So I'm going to have to actually use the get method, which I avoided in part A by using the enhanced loop. So first I get something from the list. Now it's a string. At that point, I can ask for the length of it. If it equals len, I want to remove it. I'm going to brace this if statement. And the reason is, after I remove this from the list, and by the way, we remove by index in our class. So we'll remove the string found at index i. I'm going to walk that index back one. Uh, so remember, we had this discussion in class. Uh, if you remove something, all the items to the right of that are going to shift left one index. If my index variable then shifted right, I'd potentially skip something that should be removed. So I'm actually going to leave the index here by walking it back one. At that point, the loop would progress at one, and we'll be in the same spot. But something to the right of us is going to shift over and make room uh, for the next run. OK, so let's see what happens if we give this test code a run. All right, and uh, as we took out the four letter words, there was only one frog, okay? As we counted the three letter words, there was three cat and then the word dog twice. Uh, when we removed the four letter words, notice that frog's gone. Took out the three letter words, cat and both occurrences of dog. And then finally, there weren't any two letter words, so the array list stayed the same. This question might seem kind of easy and it probably is on the easy end. Um, like I did say, kids that year would have had to actually type things as they came out of the list. So they would have had to perform like a cast on this get method to turn it to the string level, but we don't have to worry about that now. Um, and the remove method was probably tricky for them, okay? But we practiced it a lot in class. Hopefully you found that easy. And if you don't know, now you know.